G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're taking a look at the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2. First thing I'll do, I'll, I'll get everything out and while I'm getting it all out, I'll put all the details up here and all the specifications. Comes with a mat or footprint, ground sheet, whatever you wish to call it. And I'll show you something with this first. And we've got hooks and loop on these. And what this does is that hooks onto the bottom of the tent, where there's another one of these loops where the I believe the inner connects to the outer. Poles. There's three poles. Made out of 7001 aluminium, which is aircraft grade. Plastic in my pocket to get rid of it later. Now, three poles. And we've got these which click into the grommets at each corner, which I'll show you shortly. down. Now it's fitted with a bungee cord in the middle which pulls it all together and holds it together. And at this part you can see there's a curve in it and that's at each end on all three poles so all the poles are the same. Okay, The inner and the outer of the tent are already connected so this all goes up at the same time and it's held together with a nice little strap with your hook and loop or valve boat on it. And I can go down there. And that piece I'll show you in a moment. you here this is where the footprint will go through the same loop as your inner and outer or your inner and your fly are connected so you can leave your footprint on if you want or you can take it off each time pegs I thought I'd lost them for a moment then And we do have all the wind ropes, as nature hope call them, or guy ropes, all in the peg bag here. Let's, let's get rid of the plastic bag. So we've got two, four, six wind ropes, or your guy lines. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Y-shape aluminium pegs. There. Let's get the ground sheet and we'll get that put in place. shown this in other videos but this tag on your ground sheet points up so your actual tent sits on top of that and you'll know you in uh, you got that right when you see this strap is on top of the corner of the ground sheet Check. Um, it 
specific way around the ground sheet goes. Yes, there is. One end is longer than the other. So we'll have to figure that out with the main tent. And at the same time, I'll put a couple of the clips to hold it. There we are, two main poles connected in the grommets at the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've done up the first two as I've gone, and as you can see, it's holding it all up in place. And now we'll get the other pole on. So here's a grommet, that's where the pole's going to go in. And there, uh, do a couple of these clips up, the same as the corners. As you can see, I've put it underneath, as I said. And now I'll go around and I'll do all the clips. And with each clip you can feel this getting more taut and more stable. So these are the clips which you just push into place like that and then twist and they lock on the top. We've got hooks, different ones, and these look longer and deeper. Sorry, we've got the hooks which are longer and deeper, gaps, and they connect the two poles together. So let me put one in and I'll bring you back. And there, as you can see, they've both gone into that clip there, into the hook, and it's holding them together, which is helping to give the structure more strength. And the three poles, as you can see, coming over, I'm going to make this tent quite uh, stable in the wind and the bad weather. So even before they've done up, it's, it feels more stable than a lot of tents fully fitted up or full, fully erected, should I say. Put it over 
and then the middle bit's supposed to go in. Let's play around with it. Oh, there you go, got it, just twisted. And now that's holding that all in place. So apart from pegging this tent out, you can really use it as it is. It is a true freestanding tent. As you can see, we've got the three poles holding all six points out. So it can be used, and if you want to, you can just pick it up and turn it around and move it to wherever you want. Now we're going to leave it here. Now what I'll do is I'll just pick out these main six points. Now as you can see just by pegging the main six points out which is the four corners and the door over there <laughs> it's fairly stable it's not going to go anywhere and we've got the tie out points here and that's for the little hood bit and that's for your door so we've got this end which is the smallest part which is I believe will go on here because then we've got the two longer doors one on either side and then we've got another short one an even bigger one and a short one like we said we've got the small panel the large panel and the small panel at the back How about that? Right, the first time. So I'll just go around and make sure I can't make it any better. People have complained that these are flappy, but these feel quite firm, I say. Oh, that one's a bit loose. Let's uh, see if we can make that one a little bit better. You can go all the way around. Same with this one. Open a bit. Really, we need to just shorten the bungees a bit. Yeah, shorten the bungees, that pulls tighter. Now, the guy lines we had, the attachment points for them, let's take a walk around and I'll show you. Right, here's your first door on the side. We've got an attach point, attachment point for a guy like. Uh, guy line there or your wind rope another one here with another one here another one here Let's see if I just wrap that around to shorten it it's still a little bit loose that one but it's still fairly tight another one here 
and the final one here. So there's six extra tie out points for if the weather gets a bit bad. So I think the next thing we'll do is we'll get inside. So to get inside, I've got a nice storm flap on this, which is elasticated in there by the fields fit. And we've got the velcro at the bottom. It's a nice little pull on that. It's a small lightweight one. So let's see how it goes. Oh yep, yeah, there's a two-way zipper. I just made it to the other end. So opening that, there's no trouble. Let's see about closing it one-handed. Back up again. Nice and easy. Now here's a tie-out point here. And there's a loop there on the inside. Again, if you haven't seen any of my videos about tents, I always fold it inwards and then roll it under. Just as cool and simple as this, if it rains, it's the outside that's getting wet and not the inside of the door. Easy. Now that's the vestibule, which is a fairly decent size. You can get a fair size pack in there, probably got a good 100 litre one or more. And the zip on the inside is a two way zipper, also, so there's your two pulleys. Let's see how this goes with one hand. Open, close. Cool. So let's give it another open. We want to be getting inside. Oh, tough there. Oh, still went one-handed. Two-handed. That'd be a lot easier. Now we've got two toggles here, which again you'll have the material loop inside. Now some people complained about this actually dropping down, but in a way I prefer that because there's nothing hanging down here or over here. You can just roll it up, tie it up, and it's going to be out of the way. Uh, face a decent sized door to get in and out. People say with this, if you've got a door open and it's raining, you can see where it will come in about six inches, eight at the worst, dripping into the floor on the inside. But if it's raining and you want to keep it dry and look out, you can just undo your door to here and let it hang down, and then that's just going to drip down onto the actual uh, main solid door over here. So you can still have some ventilation when it's raining. So you're not going to get wet on the inside. <laughs> That's probably the easiest tent I've ever got into. <laughs> I've got plenty of room above my head. I'm fair enough I'm not the tallest of people, five foot six. But there's room here. Okay, there's the room, I was just saying. Plenty of room. Pockets. You have the small one at the head end just to throw your mobile phone in there or I don't need glasses. At the opposite end you do have this large one. It feels substantial. So and any weight goes into that will be transferred to these points which are attached to the pole. The same on that side. So you'll be able to throw, I suppose, your, your jacket in there or bits and bobs. And this is what I do like. A hook you can actually use. It's actually hanging in the middle of the tent. So you could put a your UCO candle lantern on there or your electric lantern or your head torch. Yeah, 
it all looks all decent. It's all seam sealed, or say tape sealed. The actual inner can come out, so you can just use a fly. They call it a four season. I'd call it a winter one. Excuse me, but not a four season. I don't think it'd take a hammer in from serious snow. No, it may do, but with the material being so light, I don't think it would. But I haven't tried it, so don't take my word for that. The panels come halfway up the doors and the walls, and that's all the way around. So that's going to protect you from the wind blowing in. But like I said, tie these out, you're going to get more air ventilation coming through. So that should help reduce condensation. And you can probably see through there and there, you've got the outer uh, panels I showed you, the, the mesh ones, which I've just put the hood over to protect it from any rain coming in. But if it wasn't raining, you wouldn't really need your hood on here. Then you'd get extra ventilation. It is a two door. So yeah, you, you can see the difference in size at the bottom. Don't have to measure it, you can actually see that it's smaller to the head end. That's how it's connected to the outer. We've got some bungee cord here or bungee tape, elastic, whatever you want to call it. And that just hooks into the hole here with a little buckle or toggle. Remember these as a kid have been on my winter jackets. I'm quite impressed with this. It's not going to be uh, where I'll go do the multi-day hikes because it's a little bit heavy for that. I think if it's going to be like an overnighter, hike out, hike back or hike out for the weekend and come back, I think this will be a good tent. What I may do is try and get out one day next week in it before it starts getting too warm. And it's forecast the temperatures at night in the local town is between 5 and 8 degrees centigrade so we're going to knock about 2 3 off for down here so let's say between 2 and 5 degrees centigrade at night so hopefully I'll get out and we'll see how it goes for condensation so I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not already a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button the notification bell next to it and select all so you've been notified of all future upcoming videos <laughs> flies and then click the thumbs up button really appreciate it and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care